Hey guys, fast forward today. Uh, yesterday after trekking, we had a nice time. I didn't want to vlog or use my phone or anything because we just wanted to sit around the campfire and have a talk and look at the sky and all that. Later on, we woke up pretty early today. We woke up uh, at 4.30 probably and then we quickly got ready and then we had a jeep ride to Kolur. Then we went to the temple, the famous 800 year old temple probably. And then from there, we took a bus that is around 75 kilometers to Udupi. Uh, right now, we are in the Udupi Arbor, I feel, I think. Yeah. These are all the boats. It is a stinking fish. It's the, the, the smell is pretty strong. I'm not used to this. Uh, usually because I'm a vegetarian. And we're pretty pumped to go to the St. Mary's Island. Uh, so after that we've gone chill for some time in the Malpe beach and yeah we're just walking in the harbor that that is the gang right there and it's pretty humid also you know uh, we're probably everybody we talk to on the way there's like this is this is the wrong time to come to uh, or Urupi or whatever uh, and we also are keeping pretty good with the time I think it's uh, because of my friend Danush and he has planned it so so well you know look at all the they're putting all the nets and all that and I'll give you I'll give you more updates and we'll see how the beach experience is gonna be. So next stop, St. Mary's Island. Let's go. So guys, <clears throat> we just came inside and uh, that is our first view of the St. Mary's Island. And there is the Malpe Beach. And we'll just change into proper attire. You know, we went to the temple and that is why we are in this so next stop is probably we'll board a we'll board a boat from here to the St. Mary's Island and then we will go I think I'll film a little bit in the boat also so waiting for that so this is a ticket counter to go to the St. Mary's Island and uh, we just got our tickets Danush just got the tickets <laughs> yes so, but it's it strangely say, says that uh, we bought tickets to Malpe Development Community. Pravesha Sunka. So, we're all set, we got the tickets. We just have to wait for the boats. They said it's every every 30 minutes there is a boat. Nanush, every 30 minutes there is a boat, right? Yes, every 30 minutes. We, uh, it takes 30 minutes to go there. And one, we can stay there for at least one hour. And then we can be, uh, coming back at least another 30 minutes. Tours. Yeah, and then there's another requirement that we need to have the ticket all the time and uh, we get, probably have to return them or something, we don't know, but then there are signs saying that uh, don't misplace your ticket, so the tickets are important if you ever come to St. Mary's Valley. Guys, we are about to enter the boat and the boat just came and they're apparently playing some music. And they're gonna give us uh, life jackets to every single body, right? Correct, yeah. Dushant is busy with his equipments. Prepping his equipment, yeah. And Danush is busy taking pictures. We are now getting on board. Look at all those uh, life jackets. Nice, nice. So they say it's mandatory to wear the life jackets. Jacket up, 
we'll go take one and now we're all ready. With our life. People helping people. After like making us wait for like about half an hour, they have now taken off. They started playing music also, so I think it's gonna be nice. the bigger one because apparently uh, the bigger one 
can't reach the island. <laughs> So we are currently in the small boat, we will be transferred to the, we will be going to the island. St. Mary's Island right now. It's really a lot of a lot of exciting stuff going on here, but then not as I think it's all costly because they just charge like shit. What we're trying to plan is we're gonna check in our luggage into the luggage counter and then we plan to go take a swim. We'll see how that goes. That is a luggage counter. Pretty unique. And we're having a. Hey, how much for the luggage? Twenty. Twenty for the luggage. For all. Yeah. And uh, we're not supposed to take any kind of plastic or anything inside. There are security who are checking. So apparently. Sit by the island was discovered by Moscow Gamma, so there is a signboard saying pretty much what happened, like about 1800. Danush! Danush! Danush, when was uh, Stain Bell's Island discovered? Yeah, so 1600 uh, when it was discovered. And we are going to the other side of the island probably we'll probably search for a private spot or some other place to swim because we are sure do you see this this is all seashells there's only seashells around here We did like a half a kilometer walk from the ticket booking site. We now reached the Malpe Beach, the famous Malpe Beach. It is uh, pretty damn sunny out here. <laughs> oh my god, that dude is training for Indian Army. <laughs> he has a tire around his back and then he's running on the beach. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see what's up and then probably eat something. And then we get into the beach. What's that stuff? Oh! Yes. <clears throat> so 
So I'm a vegetarian. So I fortunately found a pure veg place. We had a not so good fried rice. It was good. It was not that good. There are so many activities going on. You know, you can see. You know, people get into that bubble that you see. You know, and then they, you know, run around and shit. And we have people that uh, go on paragliding. I think it's 600 to 700 or 800 even for once. And look at the view. guys uh, I think it's time to say goodbye to the beach uh, we're all freshen up um, it's just 10 bucks for showering here it's uh, right there and goodbye beach it was a nice time being here Already, look at the, look at the paragliding, parasailing, whatever. That's how they get down. shop if somebody is willing to get a tattoo here and the, I, I saw a couple other tattoo shops just around, just around the corner on the end you have all sorts of uh, what do you call them hippie outfits from Shiva to dude with a beard we have got everything I mean, most of the places are uh, closed at this point. Like this particular open bar sort of a thing. I think it'll be open by the evening or the night. For right now, it is closed. It's right in front of this beach. So that is a good thing. We left the beach and now uh, we're going to the train station and the train is arriving at uh, 6, exactly at 6.15 so we have hit the time uh, right on target so we took a tuk tuk <laughs> to the railway station it is about 200 bucks I think Once we are in the station, I'm sure you are on the station. How did you come from Beach to the station? So, yeah, it was good. <laughs> 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 That's the railway station. Bye. Auto Raja. <laughs> and there comes our train. We got to get to the S1 platform.
And that is our seat. Danush! This is how you this is how you struggle to get up. <laughs> this is how you should not get up. <laughs> So I think that is that is it for this trip. See you all in the next one.